plug it into our adapter firmly. And now we've got about 25 pounds of connector here. So I've got this stool so I can set all this out here and uh, maybe not have it fall over and still be able to plug into my Tesla charge port which it doesn't go. Now this thing unlike the Tesla if I push this button nothing really happens. So I'm gonna go to my screen and under controls close and reopen my charge port and now it's lit and I can plug this in and plug that in and we seem to be engaged with this uh, button on I've got DC input and we've got a nice touch screen here where I can uh, press it and says thanks for using please swipe your card I had no idea when I ordered this but it requires an RFID card and they did send me two they're totally blank but I swipe it and it gives me my card information I press OK I have automatic charging by fee, charging by time, charging by power. I'm going to select automatic here and uh, it says the plug's connected. I'm going to pick OK. It says it is authorizing. Actually, it says it's author inzing, and that's Chinglish for uh, checking to see if it's OK author ending. and my plug turns blue and then green and now we get a screen that tells me my number a balance on my RFID card of 9998.92 something I don't know if a Chinese one or what my charge fee is up to 19 cents I've charged power at 0.22 kilowatt hours and counting. My time is still zero minutes. And my state of charge is 53%, which it gets from the Tesla, and that is correct. My charging voltage at the moment is 372.4 volts. And this tells me I'm charging at 105 amperes. Let's look in the car. And indeed, we see 53% um, state of charge. Three hundred and seventy one volts and ninety three amps. And so this is charging at ninety three amps. This is charging.